Five Albuquerque residents may soon have an easier, faster way to get across the Rio Grande. A new plan is being proposed, and today you have the chance to weigh in. Action 7 News reporter Angela Brower is live this morning with the details. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Tanya. It's a major problem for some people out there getting from one side of the city to the other. And that's why right now one group says that our city needs a better, faster bus system. Nearly 80,000 people travel across the Rio Grande every single day. There's a lot of people that live on the west side of Albuquerque and a lot of the jobs are on the east side of the river. That's why the Mid-Region Council of Government says it's the perfect area to implement a bus rapid transit program. A bus rapid transit basically has limited stops, so you can get to those locations a little bit faster. There's not as many stops as a regular bus system. Today, that plan inches closer to reality. The MRCOG wants to show residents the proposed routes that are up for discussion and they want feedback as to what it would take for you to actually use it. We're really interested in hearing from the public and seeing what they're interested in, in having. The MRCOG doesn't yet know how much something like this would cost and they don't have a timeline for completing it but we are told it could take years. Today, there are two open houses you can attend to discuss the transit options. The first one's going to be from 1130 to 1 o'clock, and that's at 7601 Jefferson Northeast. Then there will be another one at 430, lasting until 7 p.m. That's going to be at the Northwest Albuquerque Police Substation on Cibola Loop. Reporting live in Northeast Albuquerque this morning, Angela Brower, KYT Action 7 News. More in the morning.